Welcome to MissouriNet.com and our next Mizzou football discussion. Joining us is Brent Foster. He's a beat writer for the Jefferson City News Tribune who covers the Missouri Tigers. Brent, thanks for joining us. Uh, I think Mizzou fans and, and probably more so the coaches let out a big sigh of relief earlier today when they learned that uh, a couple of injuries to some key players uh, turned out to be minor. Uh, quarterback, yeah, yeah uh, Cornerback E.J. Gaines uh, has a, a patella tendon strain and Henry Josie uh, a tight hamstring. He's going to miss a, a day or two and then gains just a, a week. I mean, gains is so big for that Mizzou defense. Yeah, absolutely. We saw that in the uh, scrimmage on Saturday. He had a nice interception on Doriel Green back him. And the injuries, it seemed like last year, every time somebody got injured, it was a season ending injury. So it's obviously, it's nice that this time around you get a few injuries. It's only a few days or a week. Josie will be interesting to see how he bounces back. Um, obviously coming off the knee injury, you know, the first time you feel like you get injured after a serious injury, it's like, how are they going to bounce back? So it'll be interesting to see him and Gaines. Hopefully they can get him back in a week or two, and, and he'll be ready for the season. Now, I'm certainly not claiming to be a doctor, Brent, uh, <laughs> but I, I um, participated in the Show Me State games to play handball uh -huh. and, and stretched a, a tendon. And so I actually had a physical... Oh. Uh, yeah, I had a physical with uh, with my family doctor yesterday. Mm -hmm. and, and what he said to do is um, is to you know not worry so much about a brace, but just continue to try to exercise and move things along. And he showed me some exercises to to build my quad muscles, the the muscles in the front of the leg. Mm -hmm. And I remember him uh, a while back telling me that if you you work your quad muscles, you have to work your hamstrings. You got to balance it out, otherwise you're you're overdoing it with one and and not the other. So I'm just wondering. If Josie coming back from those knee surgeries, if he spent mm -hmm. so much time on his quad muscles that maybe he didn't pay enough attention to the hamstrings, and maybe that's why after this first scrimmage of, of really mm -hmm. you know, going full speed, if, if maybe that's why he's struggling a little bit. So, again, I'm no doctor. Yeah. But, you know. <laughs> well, that could be. And it seems like every year it seems like, you know, four or five guys have hamstrings. I remember last year TJ Moe had a hamstring that, that lingered almost all the way through camp, but then, you know, he was – he was fine by the end of the year, so you know, hopefully for Missouri they, they get that straightened out and he'll, he'll be back in, in a week or so. Yep. We're uh, chatting with uh, Brent Foster of the Jefferson City News Tribune who covers the Missouri Tigers. You know, you talk about hamstrings. Uh, what I heard earlier last week that Marcus Lucas was dealing with a hamstring issue and might miss a day or two, it was really nice to see him back on the field. And he had that nice 80-yard mm -hmm. catch and run. So uh, he's going to be an important piece to this Mizzou offense because I think a lot of SEC teams, are going to focus on uh, Dorio Green Beckham now, and mm -hmm. going to have to come up big and make some big plays. Yeah, and, and that's one thing. Their depth at receiving is 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 great this year. You got Lucas and Washington and, and Doriel and um, Sean Culkin, who, who's expected to contribute at tight end. Yeah, I think this could be a big year for Lucas. I think with every, I think you're right. I think a lot of people are going to focus on Doriel and Ladamian, and, and it was nice to see Lucas get out and have that long touchdown in that scrimmage and. You know, I think having four receivers is going to be big for this team this year, um, and especially if James can stay healthy, that's just going to be an added bonus. Yeah, I mean, your your starting quarterback has to stay healthy. What did you notice, uh, maybe with uh, maybe different play calling or just some personnel? But what stuck out about Mizzou's offense on Saturday? Well, I thought it was interesting that they they ran they came out early on in the scrimmage and ran a lot of goal line formations, um, put in two tight ends, and and I think they were. It almost looked like they were just working on goal line situations there, and not necessarily that's going to be a big part of the offense. Maybe you know I don't know, but but I noticed that they also ran the option quite a bit, and they didn't do that a ton last year. And I thought that was interesting. And a few times they struggled with it. When it seemed like when the quarterbacks had to pitch the ball, that didn't go real well. Um, but when when Franklin or, or Mock took off running, that seemed to be seemed to be where they worked well. So I don't think it would be interesting to see if they actually run the option a little more this year, and then how much they use those tight ends because. Other than that, it was pretty much the same old shotgun spread formation, things like that. And I know uh, Coach Pinkle did not um, – somebody asked him about schemes, and he said, I'm not going to talk about schemes. So, you know, we're kind of left to guess still what they're going to do. But, but I think it will be interesting to watch those two things, more tight ends and see if they run the option a little bit more. And, you know, fans have been not, – not screaming, but they've they've wanted to see more tight ends. I think ever since Martin Rucker and Chase yeah. Coffey. Uh, and then you had Michael Agnew, who, you know, he, he was okay, but, I mean, he certainly wasn't up to their level. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, we haven't really seen a lot of play out of their tight ends. The the I like your point about the option. Mm -hmm. uh, that is something that we saw quite a bit that they tried to run. And, and you're right, when they pitched, they, they didn't do very well. Um, the one thing that I noticed that is gone are those handoffs where they'll have, um, 
you know, Josie or Marcus Murphy line up as a wideout, and then they bring them in motion, and then mm-hmm. the ball snapped, and then the quarterback has to wait like a second, and then they hand the ball. I didn't see a lot of that called at all. Uh, and that play was one that just always frustrated me because you were basically telegraphing to the defense, we're running, we're running, we're just waiting for the quarter, uh, the uh, running back to get here and get the ball. Yeah, and, and especially against, against more athletic defensive lines, which I think they saw a lot more. You know, those guys, they're going to get off their block quicker, and they are going to probably eat that play. And that's what we saw a lot of time. Yeah, I didn't, didn't think about that, but you're right, Saturday. There was not a lot of that. And, and maybe that will go away. You know, I don't know. But, um, yeah, that was a play that was, that was frustrating at times to watch, too, because it seemed like it just took too long to develop. You know, you had, like, the quarterback was standing there for two or three seconds before anything, and by that time, you know, the line the line was already up on you. <laughs> That's about it. So uh, we've got the next major scrimmage coming up on Thursday, and then, of course, the Tigers continuing practice. We're, uh, we're almost two weeks away from, from kick. It's hard to believe it's almost yeah, here. That, that, is, that is hard to believe. Wow. That's nuts. Well, thanks for joining us here on this Google Hangout, and uh, we'll catch up with you what, again next week sometime. All right, yeah, sounds good. Thanks, Bill. Yeah, thank you. Brett Foster from the Jefferson City News Tribune, beat writer for Mizzou, joining us on this Google Hangout on MissouriNet.com. Thanks for watching.